Hi guys, a typical question that comes up in the suckless world is why the suckless disliked functional programming. Now functional, it's not a great name. I get confused because I use a lot of functions in my code. My code, I usually code in, in Go, sometimes C, but usually Go. And I, use, I make use of functions, but just because I make use of functions doesn't make it a functional language. A functional language means that it's a declarative style of programming. So declarative focuses on, on what the program should accomplish without specifying how the program should achieve the result. And I, I'm going to argue here that C, especially C, is an imperative language and it and it focuses on describing how a, a program operates, right? So there's a fundamental difference there. So when I program in Go, I'm actually declaring variables and telling the computer how to reach the result, unlike a functional language like Haskell or, Ca or Camel. Um, so w why is functional not as good as using C? according to the Cyclist community. The reasons are mainly because it produces unreadable code. And, and I'll, I'll link to the, um, the Cyclist discussion. Furthermore, is that you have that inevitable problem where, where functional programming language advocates end up implementing everything in <laughs> a functional language. Um, even though that maybe functional language you can use functional language style in Go, and you sh and you probably should use it for certain problems, but don't use it for every problem, right? And and that's the trouble with functional languages; they applying the this philosophy to everything. Um, and just to prove my point, when when it comes to unreadable or difficult to read code, I think inevit inevitably. If you're a serious programmer, especially when you're dealing with mobile and embedded devices, you are going to have to touch on assembly. Something's going to come up. You're going to have to debug your program, and you might have to look at the assembly to see what's going on. So C is the ultimate language, no doubt. And you can see here that this C function translates very well into to, to machine code. And if you, if you choose um, a, a functional language like of camel you see that it becomes maybe a little bit complicated or the mapping it just isn't clear i mean it's, it's up for you to decide i mean i'm just showing you this cool um website i found where where you can see the um the complete the compilation different like go as you can see has a lot of bu bureaucracy a ton of bureaucracy in fact but where's that you see you see this gray bit here actually translates to this gray bit here so this is the meat of the, the square function. And uh, what else is another language? Well, yeah, you can see how things get a little bit complicated, I think, in the functional world. So so yeah, um, suckless prefer imperative languages, which produces cleaner machine code. And I encourage you to do the same. Thanks guys for watching. Please like the video and do subscribe. Happy Chinese New Year. Bye.